Hi guys, so today we're going to have a little chat about uh, where Doctor Who has gone wrong and Russell T Davis brought Doctor Who back and introduced the Doctor as a mystery, as an enigma, as somebody that was interesting and we didn't know who he was and Eccleston played that so well, he played it like an alien um, David Tennant also again played it off the wall and to an extent Matt Smith did as well um, Capaldi I never thought really got a chance to play that kind of character so yes so the, so the Doctor was introduced in Alien they, uh, um, Russell T Davies introduced the Time War um, that his people were gone that the Daleks were gone that you know there was a mystery there an enigma and the thing about the Doctor is that he should be a mystery um, it's like a magic trick if you know how a magic trick's done, it's not a magic trick anymore, it's just somebody doing something. Um, and it was the same with the Doctor. Uh, it worked while we didn't know he was, but Moffat introduced too much, I don't know, chit-chat and, and tried to look clever by inventing reasons for things. Um, but the main problem was the companions. I think the companions are the main reason this has gone wrong. Rose was was great she was us the doctor's companion should be somebody that we relate to that we feel that could be me that could be and okay i'm not going to be a teenage girl ever but a human from the planet earth that we relate to and it worked really well uh and you watched the doctor and and rose grow to together and become a team and they introduced captain jack and there was uh, every, you know, and they, they, her mum and every, everybody there. And they made such a great set of characters. And you cared about them all and it really flowed. Um, then we got uh, Math Jones. And the Doctor was on the rebound, so the next person comes along here. And Martha wasn't that bad. Martha, I'll admit she wasn't the best, best actress. But she was an interesting character. And it worked on a, on, on a whole. Then we had Donna, and I'll admit that I thought when Catherine Tate became uh, the companion that I would be like, because mm, I'm not a big fan of uh, Catherine Tate. But she worked. You kind of liked Donna. She grew on you. Yeah, she was an irritating, noisy person. But we know people that are like Donna. Yeah. Like we know people like Rose and we know people like Martha. So, yeah, it worked. Then we got... Um, Amy and Rory. Now, Amy was an interesting character. I think Amy was probably supposed to be Sally Sparrow. I think I think Moffat really wanted to do Sally Sparrow as a companion, but unfortunately, I can't remember the actress's name. But she went off to Hollywood and became famous, so he rejigged it, made it Amy Pond, and to an extent. She worked. She was interesting. Um, Rory was fun. Yeah, the first few seasons with her in the first few stories, it kind of worked. Matt Smith finding his feet, her finding her feet. You know, the, the action actually got there. And yeah, it worked for the first season or so. But then Rory and Amy became more of the focus point of it. It became more of a soap opera. Um, and it wasn't so bad because it was something different. You know, you think, oh, it's different, different companion, you know, th 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 uh, Moffitt's doing something different it's nice to see um but then it went on and on and on then they made them like the most important th people in the universe um and that river song was their daughter which really mm, that that lost me a little bit river song should not have been their daughter Rif river song again a perfect example of somebody being a mystery an enigma and then they are spoiled by revealing who they are because once they revealed who she was they never really needed her in there again did they um, so yeah, they went a little bit with River Song, but never mind. Um, but then they introduced Clara, and I I thought Clara, oh good, fresh start, somebody different. Yeah, I don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the ponds, but I was glad to see them go as well. Their story had run its arc, and it was great to see they'd gone. Then they introduced Clara, and Clara just, oh, Clara just, oh. I'm trying to do the poses that she does in lots of episodes. 
She's one of those people that poses. Um, she just became really irritating. She's great to look at. We'll give her that. All right. That's that's my dad's, my dad's kind of take on it. But she just became really, really kind of condescending. I don't know. You know, when you just get somebody, you just think, Oof, get over yourself. She became more important than the doctor. It was no longer a story about the doctor. It was a story about Clara. And it kind of worked for one, one or two seasons with the Ponds, but now we had it again. Um, they introduced her a boyfriend, which then died, which felt like, oh, we're doing the Pond thing again of having the boyfriend, girlfriend oh, thing. And it, and it just, I don't know. It didn't work. And it became less about the Doctor and more about her. And Capaldi became the Doctor and she was still there. I really think she should have ended before Capaldi came in. They should have had a fresh start. Or maybe, I don't know. I actually tried, I was going to watch, before I did this video, I was going to watch like her last few episodes. And do you know the embarrassing thing is? I don't own them. I didn't buy them. Um, I have bought every season of Doctor Who on DVD and Blu-ray since it restarted. Um, some of them I have on both Blu-ray and DVD. And that season I, I just, I just, yeah, I just can't bring myself to buy it. And I keep looking for it in shops and I, I am actually looking for it. I don't want it cheap. I don't want to spend big money on it. Because it just irritated me. I, I have no... They brought the woman out of Game of Thrones, the girl out of Game of Thrones into it as well, and all that thing. And I, and I only, I've actually, oh my God, I've only watched them episodes once. There you go, I've said it. I know, you're all gobsmacked. The gobs in here are smacked, yes. He's dropped his pickled onions. Um, yeah, I, I just did not enjoy that season. And... This last season with Bill in it, Finally, we got a companion who was a companion, who was just us, somebody from Earth, somebody with him. They don't even have to be from Earth, just somebody that we can relate to, that doesn't feel like there's something better than us and something special. Yeah? And Bill was brilliant. They handled, they, they wrote in that she was a lesbian and handled it really well through it. It was fun. Um, it was from the, the episode with the Romans in it where she's like, you know, sorry, I, and, oh no, he, you know... The, the gay thing in Doctor Who has become quite noticeable and it, it works. It's it's cool. Doc, you know, um, Captain Jack. Yeah, why not? Um, who wouldn't? It's Captain Jack. Um, yeah. And it, and it worked. And that last season worked. And I feel so sorry for Capaldi because he's had no run at it really. Because it was just all about Clara and not about him. So fingers crossed... With this new showrunners, new, hopefully new writers, new Doctor, new companion and everything. This next season will be a renaissance. We will start again. I mean, yeah, it is a little bit, it's a little bit worrying it's a woman. Because you don't know how, us fans will still watch it. And I'm, you know, I'll give it a chance. Because it's Doctor Who and I, and I love the show. It's a big part of my life. Doctor Who's always been there. Um... But you do get worried because you need all the people and us fans to watch it. You need it to be more mainstream. Because once these things start to get niche, then they get to move to BBC Two and then to BBC Four and then gone. Um, and that's that's my worry with it. That's my only worry with it being a woman, that it's going to put off an older generation that don't move with times and things like that. So, yeah. So, yes, bringing this to an end. I'm glad I am. So you. I think they went wrong with the companions. The companion should just be somebody. It shouldn't be important. It's all about the doctor. Make him or her. Make them, the doctor, them. <laughs> the mystery. Yeah. Make him an enigma again. So thank you for listening to my little rant. Um... If you agree with me or don't agree with me, please leave some comments at the bottom. Uh, leave some subscriptions as well would be great. Leave some thumbs up, thumbs down. 
Um, I am collecting quite a collection of thumbs down. Don't know why. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this, like I say, keep dancing. Uh, have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.